Coco, the talking gorilla of North America. As strange as it may sound at first glance, have you ever heard the story of Coco, the gorilla that speaks to humans through sign language? Coco was not only an animal, but also a friend who revolutionized communication between humans and animals and made history. Everyone who met him realized that animals have feelings just like us. Let's take a closer look at the story of Coco the gorilla. How about eye? All right. How about ear? All right. Okay. You're doing real good, Coco. He was born in 1971 and has spent most of his life at the Gorilla Foundation in California. It was here that he began to study sign language with researcher Dr. Francine Patterson. Imagine a gorilla learning and communicating with a human language. This was a very big thing at the time. Coco learned more than 1,000 sign language words and, together with the words she was said to understand in English, she knew about 2,000 words. This challenged the idea that many people believe that animals only act on instinct. How about when you're um, coughing? One of the things she was best known for was her love of kittens. In 1984, she asked for a toy cat for her birthday, but she said she wanted a real kitten. Researchers couldn't ignore Coco's request and brought her several kittens, and she chose All Ball, a great kitten. The relationship she formed with this kitten made waves around the world. She adopted All Ball as her own. Playing with him, cuddling him, and showing affection was one of Coco's favorite things to do. Unfortunately, when All Ball died in a car accident, Coco was deeply sad. For days after the kitten's death, she looked sad and made the signs cry and sad in sign language. This made people realize that animals can experience loss and grief too. Coco's love for cats was not limited to this. Later in her life, she became a mother to many kittens and formed very special bonds with them. She was like a cat mom. Music was also a passion for her. She especially loved playing the guitar. The sounds that emerged when she picked up her guitar and tugged on the strings revealed her creativity and natural talent for music. It was as if he was creating a special melody in his own world. It was as if she wanted to communicate with people through music. Not only animals, but also people were important to Coco. Her interest in notebooks and books also showed this. She scrutinized the pages and looked long and hard at the pictures. Sometimes she made signs in response to what she saw. This behavior made it clear how curious she was about the world around her and how interested she was in human culture. On June 20, 2018, he died at the age of 46 at the Gorilla Foundation in California. His death occurred in his sleep from natural causes. When she died, the world was deeply saddened by the loss of this intelligent animal. Among those who raised Coco and taught her sign language, the most prominent figure was her trainer and caretaker, Dr. Francine Penny Patterson. After Coco's death, Patterson and her team suffered a major emotional breakdown. For them, Coco was not only a research subject, but also a representative of years of relationship, love, and bonding. After Coco's death, many wondered whether the effort to teach sign language would be limited to Coco. Inspired by Coco's successes, many scientists and animal rights advocates have raised the idea of continuing to teach sign language to other primates. But efforts to teach sign language to a new gorilla have not been as popular as Coco's story, and such efforts have faced various challenges. The process of learning sign language and the ability to communicate took place in a unique context, many years of training and a close relationship. Sign language experiments with other gorillas have not achieved Coco's successes. In the process, many debates have arisen questioning how big a role Coco's willingness to learn and her individual abilities played in this success. Trials with new gorillas were generally more limited and of shorter duration, which reduced the success rate. Still, some gorillas managed to learn some sign language, but none of them reached Coco's level. This may be due to the uniqueness of Coco's learning environment, the experience of her trainers, and especially Coco's own character and curiosity. Can we talk a little bit about love? Brown? Oh, honey! Love? Love? Uh, Coco's death was a great loss, but her legacy has opened new horizons in our relationship with animals. Her warm personality and love for people touched us all deeply. We will never forget this wonderful gorilla who captured the hearts of America. Let us know what you think about this gorilla in the comments. Also, don't forget to like my video if you like it and subscribe to my channel to be informed about new content and see you in the next video.